Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the West Ham Network. I am Anton, bringing you the five things we learnt from the game against Newcastle. What a fantastic victory. It's something we need to build upon. Um, I have walked away pleasantly surprised. And, yeah, it's just as long as we keep that momentum and keep building upon this victory. But I'm here to talk to you about the five things I particularly learned from this game. So without further ado, I'll get cracking and get you into the first thing that we learnt from this game. And in my opinion, the uh, first one I'm going to bring up to you is the sweeper-keeper. Now, Fabianski maintained his position in the starting lineup. Again, I've questioned it because I am in Team Ariola's camp, um, albeit I think both are struggling and definitely could be a future for another keeper coming in. But what I have to say is Fabianski looked extremely comfortable, to be honest with you, and a couple of times... I was panicking when he got the ball because he was, as you can see from the image there, taking on Isaac in a really dangerous area. Um, he came out in the end on top. He came out comfortable on the ball and he seemed to suit that kind of sweeper-keeper role. I, I, it's the first time I've really seen West Ham play the ball from the back consistently and do well consistently with it. And there's always risks when you play the ball from the back. There's always risks of when that happens. But... Tonight paid off, it paid dividends, and it worked absolute wonders for us. Um, he was off his line, he was in outside the 18-yard box, more than I've ever seen him in his West Ham career, and that really suited us for the game against Newcastle. So yeah, sweeper-keeper. The next one I want to talk to you about, it kind of leads into that kind of whole role, was how solid we were defensively. I picked up on it in the game last night, and when you look back at it, you can see we were running the risk of playing the offside trap, but we did it really well. And the unified approach on that back four was solid. They had the same wavelength the whole way through the game. And it was really impressive. Now, a couple of times because we played um, the ball from the back, you run the risk of the opposition turning the ball over and coming at you. And that happened a couple of times. But I felt like we dealt with anything that came our way. And we really... Apart from that opportunity from Isaac where he puts the ball in the back of the net but it was deemed offside, that's an example of West Ham playing the line, playing the defensive line. Kilman, Tadebo, Emerson, Wambasak have got a clear understanding alongside each other. I genuinely think they can only but get better. Um, and they seem to enjoy that style of play as well. So solid defensively was the second one that I th thought was bloody great, to be honest. Number three, Pakata is back. I mean, I know it's a big, bold statement and I'm not necessarily saying he's back for good and, and it, you know, but it's been missing. It's been a performance we've been needing from Pakata for such a long time. He was number one for touches in the game, 84, 66 passes. He was ranked first. He completed 54 of them, ranked first. Passes in the final third, 13, he was ranked first. Uh, final third entries, eight, he was ranked first. He had won 11 duels. He ranked first in that game as well. He won seven tackles from seven attempts. He was ranked first in that and also conceding or gaining three fouls for West Ham in the game. He showed determination, fight, energy, um, not playing as many silly balls in dangerous areas and really, really showed up today. We needed a big game from our midfield, not just from him, but from Suchek and the next player that I want to talk to you about is Carlos Soler. Ball-playing midfielders, that was what we've been calling for from the start of the season. And that's what we saw against Newcastle. That is exactly what we saw. We saw three players who felt confident and comfortable alongside each other. Um, and you see Carlos Soler and Suchek and Pakita all link up very, very well. Very comfortable on the ball passing over, opening up their bodies, looking for um, the, the next pass sideways forward, and if nothing was on, going backwards, but ensuring each of those passes were inquisited so they could get to their destination, and that's something that they absolutely did to the highest of standards, so I was really impressed with that. I've been calling for Carlos Soler to start alongside Pakata for a long time because I think that's where the missing link is, removing the two central defensive midfielders. And really, to be honest, today felt like we didn't even play with a central defensive midfielder. Um, but essentially, Carlos Soler 
and Pakita and Suchek brought that va va boom back to the midfield. Just ball playing midfielders that really brought something to the game, which leads me into the last point, and it's about a point I'm bringing into is the word identity, because that's the word that Julian Lopetegui actually used in his interview about the game for the first time this season, for the first time under Julian Lopetegui. I've seen some vision and I've seen a bit of identity. Now, I'm not saying, and the only way I'll be happy with that is if this stays, if we go into the Arsenal game and play similar, and no, no matter the result, I'll be happier. So we, we, we have an identity and it's taken us 12 games to see that identity. Ball playing from the back, build up play, comfortable on the ball, ticky tacky football, one touch football. We nearly outpassed our opposition away from home in an informed team at their ground. So all those things really play into the vision and the identity of West Ham. Lopetegui said it in his post-match press conference. I've not always agreed with his post-match press conferences, but this particular one is we absolutely seen in an abundance some identity from West Ham today, some vision about what we're going to do, not just scoring a goal and sitting back, scoring a goal and going at the team and not allowing Newcastle to get into the game. So fair play. That's what I saw. They're the five things that I learned from the game against Newcastle. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Put it in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and come on, you irons. Three points in the bag. Why am